Hello, welcome to this video regarding duplicating your color layers and applying it to a set of images. The biggest request that I've gotten in terms of actually using the panel is how can you take the layers that you've created and applied it to many other images in a series. Perhaps you shot a wedding or a fashion series or whatever it is that you want to make sure is harmonious within the whole set of images. This will help you do that. First and foremost, if you're completely new to Infinite Color, check out infinitecolorpanel.com where you can see a ton of videos in the education section as well as get to know more about it. And if you want to join our community, visit Infinite Color in Facebook groups to join our community to see what everyone is doing. Now let me get straight to it. This find was by Otto Jeremy, who actually um, gave me this inspiration to make this video because this script is really fascinating. And this is something that you need to download outside of Infinite Color just because the script itself is going to help you actually copy and paste layers across multiple set of images. And I'm going to link this in the description of wherever you're watching this video, whether it be Facebook or YouTube. But basically, it's on CameronMcAfee.com slash blog. And on his blog, if you go there, you should see one titled, let's see, here it is, December 1st, 2010, Photoshop Script Duplicate to All. Now, what I do also want to mention is before you go ahead and click on the download button, make sure that if you have a Mac, once you have actually downloaded it, for example, like you see here, you'll get this folder, it says duplicate to all. In that folder, you'll see these three files. Now, this is the file you're gonna be concerned with, which says duplicate to all. You wanna copy that and then follow the instructions where you wanna to go to your application, Photoshop, presets, and script. So for example, on a Mac, you go to your applications, then under applications, you click on the version of Photoshop you have, then click on presets, and then scripts. And over here is where you wanna paste it. You can see duplicate to all. After you've pasted it here, go to Photoshop and restart it. So that way it actually loads a script. Then when you open it up again, you're gonna apply it that way. If you have a PC, then I'm going to actually paste the, the directions in the descriptions of the YouTube video. So you can actually see um, how to do that on a PC. But it would basically be the same area um, on a PC as a Mac. And let me just double check really quick. Yep, you wanna go to program files, the version of Photoshop that you have, then presets and scripts. But I'll link the, I'll put that in the description. Let's go back to Photoshop. Now that we're in Photoshop itself and we have these two images, let's say that we've generated something um, that we like. And I did this here really quickly where I have a set of layers that have a color tone that I want to apply to this particular image without having to do much. So we'll go to File, we'll go to Scripts, and then we'll go to uh, Duplicate to All. You might have a different look, obviously, based on the number of scripts that you have. Um, I got these primarily from Connie Wallstrom's Retouching Toolkit, which is really handy, um, as well as like Lumenzia and stuff like that. So don't worry if you don't have all this. But the main thing is going to be at the bottom. It says Duplicate to All. Once you click on that, it'll say Duplicate to All Complete. What that means is everything that you have open will also have the same layers that are generated, as you can tell. So if you have 10 images or 15 images, it doesn't really matter. The one thing I do want to caution you on is make sure that before you run the script, make sure the folder is selected and not one of the layers. Because if you have one of the layers selected, once you've run the infinite color, let's say, for example, I click on Create, and it creates something, let's see, like that. and then I go to File, Script, and Duplicate to All. What happens is you'll see here it only brought that layer over. So you have to make sure that you click on the folder 
and then go to File, Script, and Duplicate to All. And what that does is it then it carries over. So I hope that helped. That's uh, pretty much how to do it, where to download it, how to install it, and how to run it. Thank you, Andrew Ford, for these couple of images for demonstration purposes. Um, he's an amazing beauty photographer, as you can tell. He did all the retouching. Um, I'm just using this as an example. So there you go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And again, if you're new to Infinite Color, just visit infinitecolorpanel.com where there's an education tab to learn about how to use a program, um, how to use every facet of it, and all of that. And join our Facebook group as well at Infinite Color Panel.